Okay, so in my particular uh, picture that I'm working from, the cat appears to have very light eyes. So um, with the watercolor, if you keep things too light, um, it's, it's okay. Uh, but if I make these eyes too dark too early and then I send it to the owner and she says, oh, the cat's eyes are lighter, it's a lot harder to lighten up um, a watercolor after it's got dark places because uh, you have to scrub it out. So I'm going to be conservative and I'm just going to put one more little um, wash of green in this cat's eyes. and. Uh, then I'm going to continue on with the rest of the painting and then, you know, I'll let the owner see what it looks like and if the cat's eyes need to be darker, at that point, that's when I will go ahead and make them a little darker, but I just don't want to make them too dark because then I'll have to go back and fix things and it just won't look as good. So I'm just going over what I already did with a very tea consistency wash of green because the owner did say the eyes are green so I'm going back in and I'm avoiding those white spots again. I can always go back and cover those white spots up if they if I decide they're too much. Now I'm going back in with a little bit of yellow. Um, if you leave an area just one flat color it, it does look really flat and um, I'm trying to avoid that so especially in eyes they just look more luminous if you le use at least two different colors. Even with the blue of a Siamese I'll use um, two different um, paints with different granularities so that the granule blue can melt into the finer blue and leave some texture and two different colors and it just makes the eye look more realistic. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hair dryer it and I'll turn the camera off and then we'll come back for the pupils.